Recently we got some leaks about 2.1 version including our most anticipated character Acheron, her kit is a little bit complicated, and probably has the longest information text I've ever seen, but don't worry, I will try to explain it as well as I can, keep in mind that all the stats that will get mentioned in this video are with Acheron traces at level 1, without further ado, let's get to it. Acheron is a lightning nihility character. And unlike other Nihility characters that has multiple debuffs, Acheron has only one debuff in her kit, but what makes her more unique is the ultimate, which does not require energy to be used, instead it requires stacks. Acheron whole kit works around two type of stacks, Slashed Dream and Crimson Knot, Slashed Dream is the stacks Acheron require to unleash her ultimate, and Crimson Knot is the stacks that Acheron will be inflicting on enemy throughout her kit. And when one Crimson Knot stack get removed, Acheron will deal lightning damage equal to 9% of her attack to all enemies. Slashed Dream and Crimson Knot stack at the same time. Every time Acheron get one Slashed Dream stack, she inflict one Crimson Knot on the enemy. Also the only way to remove Crimson Knot stacks is by using Acheron Ultimate. To use the ultimate we need to reach 9 Slashed Dream stacks. Then Acheron unleashes Rainblade dealing lightning damage equal to 14.4% of her attack to a single enemy, and removes up to 3 stacks of Crimson Knot from the target per Rainblade attack. I already mentioned that removing 1 stack of Crimson Knot will deal 9% of Acheron attack as a lightning damage to all enemies, but what I didn't mention that this attack has damage multiplier. It will get increased by 9% for every stack of Crimson Knot removed, so the second Crimson Knot will deal 18% and the third will deal 27% of Acheron attack. During her ultimate, Acheron can unleash Rainblade for 3 times, then she immediately unleashed Stygian Research dealing lightning damage equal to 72% of her attack to all enemies, and removes all Crimson Knot stacks. Now let's talk about her talent, Acheron's talent is where her only debuff is, allowing her to deplete enemies' toughness regardless of weakness types, and reduce all type resistance by 10% for all enemies. But this happens only during the ultimate, the other effect this talent has is when any unit inflict debuffs on an enemy while using an ability, Acheron will gain one stack of slashed dream and inflict crimson not on the enemy target. This effect can be triggered only one time per action, and in case the used ability inflicts debuff on multiple enemies, the Crimson Knot stack will be inflicted on the enemy with the most Crimson Knot stacks. Acheron skill is the most simple part of her kit, upon using the skill Acheron gains one stack of Slashed Dream and inflict the enemy target with Crimson Knot stack. More than that, she deals lightning damage equal to 80% of her attack to the enemy target, and an additional 30% damage to adjacent targets. Moving on to her technique, Acheron attack the enemy and after entering battle, she gains two slashed dream stacks and without doubt inflicts two crimson knot stacks on a single random enemy, as well as dealing lightning damage equal to 80% of her attack to all enemies, my favorite part about her technique is when the enemy has red karma, he will get immediately defeated and won't enter combat. But we don't know yet what causes the red karma mark to show up. The other thing about her technique is that technique points won't get spent if the attack does not hit an enemy. Acheron traces are pretty powerful, but sadly, they are not F2P friendly, since you need to get some idolins to make the best of them, the first trace called Red Ogre. At the start of the battle, Red Ogre will give Acheron 4 stacks of Slashed Dream and inflict 4 stacks of Crimson not to a random enemy. The second trace called the Abyss. This trace will increase the damage of Acheron's basic attack, skill and ultimate to 115% if there is another Nihility character in the team, and it will increase it to 160% if there is two other Nihility characters. But having Acheron's E2 will decrease the requirement to only one other Nihility character to get the 160% damage boost. The last trace called Thunder Core, it will boost Acheron's damage by 30% when her ultimate hit a target with Crimson Knot. This effect can stack up to 3 times and last for 3 turns. Additionally, Acheron deals 6 hits of damage when Stygian Resurge is triggered. Every hit deals lightning damage equal to 25% of Acheron's attack to a single enemy target and is viewed as ultimate damage. Acheron Idolins are so straight and simple, her E1 will boost her crit rate by 18% when dealing damage to debuffed enemies. 
E2 will reduce the requirement of the Abyss Trace by 1, so you can get the 160% damage boost by just adding one other Nihility character, also, at the start of Acheron's turn she will gain one slashed Dream Stack, and inflict one Crimson Knot stack on the enemy with the most Crimson Knot, E4 inflicts ultimate damage vulnerability to all enemies when using the ultimate, increasing the ultimate damage taken by 12% for 2 turns. And lastly, her E6 increases her ultimate crit damage by 60%, and the damage from her basic attack and skill will be considered as ultimate damage. Acheron's signature light cone increases the wearer crit damage by 36%, and ultimate damage by 24%, more than that, when the wearer hits enemy target, there is 100% chance of inflicting empty bubbles to the enemy for one turn. This effect can be triggered one time per target, and the wearer will deal 24% more damage against target inflicted with it. Acheron looks like a very good DPS to pull, you can check this video to see how much pulls you can save before her release. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.